Hello and welcome back to Splatoon 2, where we are here in Octo Valley and we're about to go get our revenge on this stage here for having killed me with my own greed and then with my own clumsiness. Either way, it's the stage's fault. I did nothing wrong, except for all the things I did wrong. side jet, so I should really just be uh, doing the ground flicks, because those go wide. Who needs to stick to the wall, huh? Not this squid. That's less than ideal. There we go. Gonna go ahead and give this a toss. Didn't really get momentum before that jump, but it's all good. Seems the rain cloud just blew up the money ball by itself. That was nice of it. Whoop! If I wasn't flicking, I wouldn't have gotten bounced there. Moving platforms and rollers are not a good combination, it seems. Seems that guy is able to get far enough away that the bomb cannot harm him. And apparently we can just bounce our bomb right off his face. This is another one of those moments where it would have been better for me had I actually bothered to unlock the other bomb types. this. It'll help us out in the next section. And we are making it to the next section. That's good. Okay, we are back to where we can get our revenge. the money ball. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Ow. But I'm okay. So I want my armor to come back before I grab this. That rain cloud does not last quite as long as I had wanted. Okay, this time... I'm just gonna go. Because I don't need ten eggs. Especially not when it's so dangerous to grab. Wow, that must take skill.
That was close. Okay, we've got a box over there. And there doesn't seem to be any real opportunity to jump between these. So... Maybe what we're meant to do is actually climb up on under these. Oh, no, we, we can't ink that. There goes that plan. So let's grab this while we can. So that box has to have something nice. How nice, but... Well, that wasn't a hard jump, and ooh, it's that nice. And then we can head on down here, and then back up, and we're good. go to what will surely be another checkpoint. Hooray, it's another checkpoint. Okay, there's an ink switch and another ink switch. What are these going to do, I wonder? Oh, hello, free ticket. Oh, they're going to extend out this drawer. I hate how you get bounced when the drawer reaches its maximum extension while you're on its side like that. It's annoying. I mean, there's no reason it shouldn't happen, but it's annoying. Goodbye, fellows. Okay, so... Am I meant to push the giant ball off the edge using that? Or is it meant to just fall off by itself like some kind of idiot? What is this control? Okay, same thing. Oh, does it also... It does also push out drawers on the other side. I extended those a little early. Let's head on down here. <laughs> Whoop, that's not helpful. Okay, being in this ink is also not helping me. Okay, let's get on through here and zap fish. Calamari Research Lab's video log number 5628. This coffin-like device is a historical relic of the old world and is kept under strict lock and key. I unplugged it by accident while cleaning the other day, but it seems to still be running somehow. Um, what is that? Are we supposed to be looking at what's in the blue square or... The thing to the left of the frame? I'm not certain what that is. It looks like some kind of engine, though. Who knows? Not I. 
Yeah, we only have one more scroll to find, too. So let's get over here and find it. Octoling workout. Forge those muscles. They will be splatted. Seems they are uh, out in force today. Nice try there, lady. Uh, maybe next time don't super jump to somewhere where you don't have any ink. Also, seriously, I can't climb this wall. I see we've got a bouncy. Well, that zapfish was awfully unguarded. So this is actually a map that I don't believe I've yet played on. And apparently I just blew up lots of things. Oh. Seems those two have activated. Got him. Ah, that's what I ended up accidentally blowing up. I can't ink that wall either. Oh, there's a bouncy. Still one more, or two more, active Octo Wings. you shooting over there. Oh, took a direct hit, and it did indeed immediately break one layer of armor. And we've still got another active Octoling over there. Well, let's grab this armor. I don't like sprinklers. They make me think I'm being shot at. These. These are some high damage octolings. I wish it had been the Octo Wing. We can get some armor here. Provided we actually go up in time. Armor is good. I enjoy armor. It helps me stay alive and not dead. Okay, I got her before she took away our armor. That's good. You're gonna need more than a bucket to get rid of me, little lady. Okay. So, well, I guess we have to fire this now. Because there's no way to put it away after you've brought it out. Really shouldn't have been so hasty there. Let's 
So we still gotta find both the Sardinium and the other thing, the scroll. They should both be somewhere, though. It's not like they can hide forever. Hopefully they won't be hiding in a very simple place that I somehow managed to overlook, like the last scroll on an Octoling stage. It annoys me that you can't climb up over the top while it's wiggling. Oh, there's the Sardinium. So I bet I would die if I jumped out of bounds here, but it doesn't look like I should. Die, that is. It also doesn't look like I should jump out of bounds. Oh, that's a, that's a ticket not a score. Not what I had been hoping to see. Well, let's grab this. Let's get rid of that lady. Nice and easy. So we can't climb up that. We'll need to use the bouncy. And she keeps on taking cover in her base. That's just eggs. Yeah, she is really just abusing that invulnerability, but we got her. Kind of annoys me how long it takes the splatling to charge up when you're in the air. So we still need the scroll. Can we get up here? We well, we can, but we get bounced to our death. Really? It gets rid of all of my ink everywhere? It doesn't let the Octolings respawn, does it? Okay, good. Well, it lets one respawn. Maybe more, we'll see. So in order to get the scroll, we need to get up and around their spawn point without getting knocked out of bounds like just happened. spawn, so it's not a huge deal. Okay, let's try going around this side, where we will be. Okay, we'll be less likely to get bounced off, but it seems this actually extends all the way out on this side. So what we need is to carefully get up on top of this and then just walk. That wasn't even the scroll. Are you kidding? Okay, um... Where is it then? <laughs> Okay, we actually do need to drop onto that from above. Easy enough. But the scroll... The scroll's important. I want it, but I ain't got it. So it's hiding somewhere. That seems dangerous. 
Like, unless down there is a playable area, this grate is just a death grate. I'm never a fan of death grates. So... Scroll. If I was a scroll, where would I hide? I would probably hide under their ink, but I'm pretty sure I've already covered all of their ink at some point. Or, or not. Found it. I guess there was some that I hadn't ended up covering. Well, now we're able to just take a nice leisurely stroll to the finish. Because we've killed all the things what need killing. And we know exactly where the final zapfish is, so... It's just a matter of go and get. Hey look, we did it. We've gotten every scroll in the game. big silo is where the boss kettle was hiding. Oh, Judd, when your capsule opens in the future, you may find yourself alone. Should that be the case, I ask you to re-energize the capsule once again. Oh, dearest Judd, I only hope that you can forgive me for all I've put you through. Okay. So, is that the capsule that Judd Jr. came from? Hmm. Okay, then. Wait. Wait a minute. The imagery in that last scroll we got. I guess we got to page through everything to get back there. So we can see a, a cell undergoing division and then an embryonic Judd. Uh, Okay, so what it is is that, okay, since Judd found himself alone, as in, like, he was the only cat, he re-energized his capsule, which I guess cloned another Judd so that Judd could have companionship, and that's where Mini Judd came from. Got it. Mystery solved. So let's get ourselves over to that boss kettle. Looks like stage 22 might be the closest. Oh, this is a little unnerving. And no, this is not our best jump point. Um, maybe... Maybe here is... Yeah, this seems pretty alright. We can hop on down here and then looks like light blue will take us to the boss kettle. Come here, saucer. Okay, let's get this all painted up. It's easier to see when it's all green. Though, really, this episode's over right here. Because, so, yeah, we're 25-ish minutes in. And if this is anything like the final boss of the last game, it's going to take quite some time, even if you do it perfectly. Like, 
Unless you manage to do a phase skip on DJ Octavio, it took like eight minutes minimum to beat him, even if you knew how to do the fight. So yeah, I'm just operating under the assumption that this fight will also take a long time. So join us next time when we finish up hero mode. See you then, friends.